the difficult times amid covid-19 have once again reminded us about the contributions and sacrifices made by doctors and the healthcare staff around the globe this year is once again dedicated to all those doctors and healthcare professionals who are serving in these trying times by risking their lives either in primary as well as secondary care setups or in dedicated covid care facilities but did anyone think of the mental trauma the doctors go through in these tough times also in honor of this nobel profession this doctors day we are celebrating doctors and how doctors mental health is equally important we have with us dr samir malhotra who's a senior psychiatrist director of mental health and behavioral sciences at max hospitals welcome doctor it's good to have you at india.com and the health site so doctor i would want to understand you know in these times what are the challenges that the doctors are facing on a day to day basis in the pandemic seeing large number of patients who are coming with infection and uh, with with uh, the family members going through a lot of stress dealing with both patients as well as the suffering families and the second wave of the pandemic has really hit people very badly in the sense Uh, many families got affected it wasn't just one individual in the family it was the entire family which was getting affected at times people lost their family members to uh, the covid infection so going through that every day day in day out the frontline workers whether these were doctors or nursing staff went through a lot of stress and trauma plus there were limited uh, number of beds which were available isn't it and many a times many hospitals could not entertain the number of patients who were approaching them so that helplessness was also seeping in where obviously doctors couldn't create beds overnight they couldn't create the facilities overnight so that kind of pressure on the mind of the doctors on the mind of the caretakers was definitely taking a toll both physically as well as emotionally and because they were long working hours the sleep wake cycle was getting disturbed as well uh, they were also missing their own family members because at times the first line workers had to be quarantined after having worked for a fixed number of hours so missing their family at the same time working constantly uh, supporting the ppe equipment uh, for long hours at that point of time and the added helplessness of not being able to help all those who were suffering at that point of time and at times despite the best of their efforts and the, despite best of the medical facilities they could not revive some now all that put together does take a toll on the health right doctor so you know some so, certain situations are very adverse where they see the doc the patient sinking in and all of that so that also takes a toll on them mentally also and uh, the long hours the pp kits that are there but the emotional trauma that they go through also affects them mentally so whenever we talk about mental health and especially in these days we've been talking about mental health a lot and whenever we talk about it the first thing that comes is to take therapy and go to a doctor but doctors are also human beings so even their mental health is at stake in wake of the pandemic so what do you have to say on that thank you for raising this uh, very important and sensitive question our doctors are also human beings and they are also emotional beings so uh, on one hand you know they were trying to put in their best possible at times they were not able to cater to every individual need because obviously they have human limitations uh, they were limited kind of uh, bed facilities which were available so not every patient could have been treated at home so at times they had to stretch their services and and connect to patients at their home settings also so even their virtual consultation hours had increased apart from their physical uh, consulting hours and at times you know this is very painful reality but many a times when you are not able to revive a life despite the best of your efforts at times out of that frustration the family also takes all its wrath on the service provider that is a very painful reality uh, alongside what what doctors also went through was disturbed sleep wake schedule because of long stretched working mm-hmm. hours and the stressful work that they were doing all this time uh, all that put together definitely disturbs you emotionally so i've known and uh, because because we are in this discipline of catering to the mental health needs 
many doctors, many nurses, many paraprofessionals have approached us. So all that put together does take the influence. Toll. Yes, sir. Uh, doctor, you just touched upon a point which I was just going to uh, ask was that uh, that you know uh, do doctors or frontline workers approach you or uh, other doctors for therapy or something? Because you know uh, they also have families at risk. So whenever they go out, they are not only risking themselves; they're risking the families also at home. So. Uh, any such uh, ish, like uh, an incident has it ever happened yes i mean uh, some doctors and some nurses did approach us and uh, this did happen because of long because they had long working hours they were away from home then they had to go through the quarantine period and uh, they were away from their family plus this added guilt uh, or, or this added anxiety what if we pass on the infection to our family member right so on one hand it was difficult work it was uh, seeing people uh, in, in that terminal state uh, of illness at times trying to revive them. So it was that difficult physically and emotionally at the same time, missing their family and having this fear of what if we pass it on to our family. So all that put together did influence their emotional health and some of them did approach us with significant sadness or depressive symptoms and significant anxiety and insomnia where they were not able to sleep very well. So those were the kind of issues which were raised uh, as a part of our duty towards this profession. We are also taking care of the mental health needs of professionals and paraprofessionals working in this field and who were dedicated to COVID, providing COVID services to, to uh, patients. Uh, as, as a helpline, we did start a helpline uh, through Max Healthcare. That's a great initiative by Max because you know uh, certain helpline numbers are there for other things, but a special health helpline number for the doctors themselves for their mental state and mental health well being was a very good initiative. And I think this should carry on because we're still not over with the pandemic and we're still fighting at it. Doctor, I also wanted to know that uh, you are a doctor yourself, so any personal circumstance that you would want to share that if you would uh, step out of the home to see uh, a patient or something that what uh, goes into your mind but do you think about your family of in infecting them so could you share your personal instance with us yes i mean there are many such instances but uh, if we are following the covid appropriate behavior where we are maintaining uh, some physical distance where we are uh, you know kind of using mask and these days double masking is being recommended if we are supporting the pp equipment if we are going very close to a patient who's infected with covid uh, if we are uh, you know using the sanitizer as being recommended uh, and if we are washing our hands you know as as required uh, then then perhaps we are able to somewhat prevent ourselves from getting infected at the same at the same time also one should go for vaccination in time because there are many myths surrounding vaccination but i think that as of now it is important for us to consider vaccination for self-protection uh, most of the doctors have gone through the vaccination process uh, yes uh, we do counsel ourselves but we also need to understand and be aware in which most of the doctors and rather all the doctors are usually aware of is their responsibility towards the larger society right. and, and uh, we do see the patient not just as an individual, but we also try and place ourselves in the shoes of the patient. So one has to understand that and more so when we are catering to the mental health needs of that individual to be able to provide our best possible services in an effective and meaningful manner. Right, doctor. So do you uh, want to give any tips to the doctors or the frontline workers as to how they can balance their mental health if they're feeling anxious or any such situation? I think uh, most of the times doctors, para, you know, paramedical professionals, they tend to neglect their own health because they're so very concerned about maybe the health of uh, their patients, health of the sufferers, health of family members around, friends around them. At times, they tend to neglect their own health. So please, please do not neglect your own health. Please take out time to follow uh, a regular sleep-wake cycle as much as possible. You know, there could be difficult times when you are called at night, when the emergency duties but do try to maintain a good sleep wake schedule. Uh, do exercise somewhat regularly and please do engage in some hobby which you find meaningful, which you enjoy doing and do interact uh, with family, with friends. Don't isolate yourself. 
because you are facing a lot of stress uh, both physically as well as emotionally when it comes to catering to a large number of population who has been suffering with this pandemic so do take care of yourself because you are important you are quite precious not only to yourself but to your family to the society at large right doctor as you pointed out that you know doctors should take care of the mental health because they are very precious not only to them to their families but to the nation at large and that is what we want to celebrate this doctors day and uh, thank you so much for taking out time for india.com and the health site and anything else you would want to add on uh, i would just like to say that family members of sufferers should also realize that doctors are human beings and they try to stretch themselves and no doctor wants his or patient not to receive the best of care so please uh, do not use physical or emotionally abusive you know words or or do not uh, insult the doctors because they have been overwhelmed physically and emotionally they have been trying to do their best possible they need to cooperate family members need to cooperate at that point of time rather than taking out their wrath on the doctors uh, many times there could be miscommunications which need to be sorted in a calmer frame of mind and uh, uh, as a society we need to work together and my salutations to all the doctors to all the nursing professionals all the paramedical professionals and all the frontline workers who have been putting in their best possible risking their own lives trying to help bring back and revive life in the best possible that they can thank you once again doctor it was a pleasure speaking with you